Go ahead and like and subscribe for me. And hit that notification bell. Today, today, today. I want to talk about crossovers. You know, when we think about crossovers, there's some names that come to our mind automatically. Might think about AI, Tim Hardaway, Steph Curry, Chris Paul, Kobe Bryant, or even LeBron. But for me, when I think about a signature crossover that dang near got him every time, I'm going to have to go with my boy Tim Hardaway and that UTEP two-step. You know, there's a lot of good footage of ankle breaking, but that crossover on Avery Johnson, that, that's, the, that's, that's what comes to my mind when I'm, I think about breaking somebody's ankle. The whole left side of his body caved in. It was just real amazing to watch. What made Hardaway's crossover so effective is how quick it was and how low it was. When he would take the ball through the legs to the left, most opponents would see that as the cross and go for it. He hit him with that quick crossover to the right, and it was so quick and so low it would be dang near impossible to reposition your body to follow. And that's what would lead to all kinds of ankle breaking and falling over yourself, trying to recontort your your body to catch back up with Tim. You know, there's a video with Tim actually talking about this, talking about how much practice and repetition went into perfecting this move. And it showed because he was able to pull that move off in tight spaces and under pressure. And the fact that he had real scoring ability, he could take it on to the rim or pull up with a jump shot, just made that move even more dangerous. You know, another good moment that I really liked is when he did it to Isaiah. And at the time, I was a huge Isaiah Thomas fan. When he did that to Isaiah, Isaiah couldn't get back fast enough. Could just reach out and maybe touch a little bit of his calves or something like that. Which is the point of a good crossover. You really want to leave your opponent in the dust. And as I mentioned in the beginning, there's quite a few players with some impressive crossovers. Allen Iverson, the thing about AI's crossover is that it just has so much versatility. You know, he could he do the behind the back or the crossover with the step back jump shot. You know, Tim said the secret to his was not speed. It was getting down low and hitting him with that quickness. But, you know, AI had that explosive speed. And he was fearless. You know, he'd do that on anybody. He'd go up against anybody with that move. Yeah, this is not going to be a long video. I was just I was thinking about my boy Tim today because I was just talking to my brother about the good old NBA days and said I want to talk about my boy Tim for a minute. So thank you all for checking me out, and I will see you in the next one. And, hey, I know I've been stingy with the videos, been doing like one or two or three a week. I'm about to try to get a schedule on here because my subscribers and just returning viewers has been so good to me. I want to put out more content for you to enjoy. So thanks and expect a lot more coming soon. Out.